What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 ADC and I got a real quick uh, packaging or unboxing to do for you guys today. Um, just got this in the mail like literally five minutes ago. I'm home early today. I'm filming this on Thursday. It's really crappy outside, cold, snowy. Um, so we only worked like half a day uh, today for my job. So I came home, been playing some Modern Warfare 2 and I knew this package was arriving today. So I've been kind of like anxiously awaiting it. Um, and then I saw my mail person because my room like looks down onto the road to the mailbox and i was like oh my knife's here so i ran down got it put the phone in the tripod and here we are so uh this is a package coming from vosteed uh you guys might be familiar with vosteed they're kind of a newer company on the knife scene um and i believe they have four or five now you know uh established i almost said extinguished established edc models and this is their newest, I believe. Uh, so I kind of bought this on a whim a couple weeks ago, uh, probably about a week and a half, two weeks ago, uh, just because I thought it was a good value for the money, for the materials you're getting. Uh, it, it looked like a cool model and everything like that. And I just decided to go with it. Uh, so this is the Raccoon. And like I said, this is their newest model. Uh, I'm looking on the website right now. So they kind of came to be about when they did the uh, Bellamy, which is a frame lock, uh, has a flipper, has a fuller, it has a front flipper. Uh, and they did two renditions of those in carbon fiber and micarta. And I kind of picked up on them because I believe Kevin had one in on his channel that got sent to him, I believe, by Neves Knives. Um, so that's kind of how I got like uh, familiar with Vosteed. They came out with that, and they came out with the Nightshade, which is like a Persian, like, I think Kukuri is how you pronounce that. It has like kind of the swooping blade going on. Uh, so they have those two. And then they came out with the Nightshade Light, which is just a more EDC friendly, a little bit smaller size of the Nightshade. Then more recently, they came out with a Thunderbird, which is um, a button lock with uh, really cool topographic scales that I've heard a lot of good things about. And then most recently the raccoon which is what i have here which is also a budget lock or a budget lock a a button lock um a budget button lock i can't talk today guys i apologize um so it comes in this sleeve that i believe has a metal tin in it um, so i'm gonna rip the plastic off uh, here i am flipping or fidgeting with the lander while playing my cod i have some micarta scales coming from uh barnscraft edc i believe uh, Holden, I've been talking to him on Instagram, and I believe he, I think just today he sent me a set of micarta scales for this lander, which I'm really excited for. Uh, I've been seeing all kinds of pictures and stuff like that on Instagram of the lander being um, modified and stuff like that. And I reached out and been talking to him, and he was graciously enough, or gracious and nice enough to um, send me a set. So there'll be a video on that in the future. But all right, here it says uh, C850 Raccoon Green. So I got the green micarta. Uh, these come in blue micarta, green micarta, and a like light gray or a, a dark gray, light black micarta. Uh, Boss D, there's the symbol. You guys can see my PlayStation home screen in the background, right, right there. Um, slide that out. Then you have like a metallic um, tin here, which I think pops off. Here we go. It pops off like that. Then you have a throwing everything everywhere guys i'm sorry you have a pouch with the knife you have a um i think this is a sticker but wanted de uh, dead or alive wanted raccoon armed and very dangerous that's really cool they sent a sticker specifically for the raccoon they actually put the same the, the same price on here because it's it's a 59 dollar knife uh, and they instead of putting like a million dollars they put whatever that is 59 590 million 590 billion something like that um you get a coa with it so vosteed raccoon uh this has 14 c 28 n 3.25 inch blade length it's a drop point flat grind stone wash um, with micarta scales in a plunge lock aka button lock so that's really cool that they include that try to get in a little closer than go down so you guys can read so that's cool a vosteed uh, patch a um Vosteed support vosteed.com 120 day full money back guarantee return and replacement service 
Uh, it's like a business card, but it's like a really thick like cardstock business card that has like a texturing to it. It's really nice. Uh, and then a Vosteed microfiber. So I must say, before I even get into the knife, there's a lot to go, a lot that goes into this packaging. Um, and for a $59, you know, budget knife, you get a lot. Like you get obviously like the nice metallic, um, you know, container. You get the pouch, microfiber, um, a patch, which is cool. A COA, which you never get with like anything that's less than like a custom or like a thousand dollar knife, basically. A cool uh, custom sticker. Uh, you know, just, just a really cool unboxing experience. And I got to give them a lot of prop, you know, um, round of applause for that because you really don't see that that often in this range, this price range of knives. So um, I'm going to close up the lander here, tidy up everything. All right, here we are getting into the raccoon. So it is cold, of course, because I just brought it in from the mailbox. And here it is, guys. You guys can see it has a button lock right there. Thumb studs has a uh, fuller tab, so you can have lefty or righty carry. Loop over style, deep carry clip that's, you know, not, not super deep. I feel like they could have definitely, you know, look at all that space they have over here. They could have moved that almost back up into that corner, so it would have been a true deep carry. But, you know, looks like it works pretty well. You have a lanyard tube or a lanyard post. Um, dual thumb studs, like I said. Give this a flip. Comes out very smooth. Right away, this micarta is very, very comfortable. Um, nice and contoured around the edges, which is really nice. I love this choil. And oh my gosh, that feels really, really good, guys. Um, you have some kind of micro jimping right there. Choked back, it feels really good. You get a nice natural restriction point right here. And then your fingers kind of follow suit. And you land right on that jimping then choked up, you kind of land anywhere, anywhere you want really up here, but this is very comfortable. Uh, the micarta has a really nice texture to it. Um, it. It's not like the super dry and hard micartas like some other companies use. Um, the liners are nested, which I really like. That makes another, that's another big factor in my opinion that takes a budget knife to kind of a better premium feeling. Um, there is some internal milling, which is nice. The button lock, which I just now noticed, it doesn't stick out very far so you guys can see like it, it doesn't rise above the scale that much and when it's deployed normally they stick out farther so that's really good i like that which helps when you're doing you know pinch grips or something like that um see how it works all right so it's a little stiff like i said this just came in from outside so no blade play at all this thing is locked up tight has a little bit of blade stick to it, which is kind of expected. Um, you know, most most button locks nowadays, you get blades, uh, button stick, almost said blade stick. So I'm hoping this loosens up, but I'm assuming it will just because, you know, I just got the knife in. It was in a cold mailbox for a little bit. It was in, you know, it, it got bounced around in the mail. You guys know how it is. Most of the time it's going to take a little bit of um, break in period, but it is very smooth, which is nice when it does drop. It's very smooth. I don't know if I could adjust the pivot at all, um, but it is dead centered. So it's dead centered, no blade play. Um, feels feels really good in the hand, guys. This this is like a really good kind of medium sized knife for me. Um, the only other button lock I have right in right now is the original, which the original is a little bit smaller. Um, it has like a 2.84 inch blade. This has a, I believe, 3.25. Um, which is right in that sweet spot for carries for me. Uh, and of course, you're getting the 14C28N, which is, a, you know, in my opinion nowadays, the best budget steel. Uh, I used to be a huge D2 lover, and I still appreciate D2 on some knives, but it kind of got overwhelmed with it. Um, and 14C28N, I've just had really good experiences with, uh, with how, you know, honing an edge and being really, really sharp. Uh, so I've kind of, you know, accepted it as my favorite. And, you know, for 59 bucks, which I think I got, so I didn't even like think about buying this. Like I said, it was on a whim. I guess I never finished that story. Um, but I was actually at work one day. We were on our lunch break. I was getting on Instagram, checking it out. 
Uh, and I came across the Vosti page and they posted that there was like a limited amount of raccoons up on their website. And I hadn't really heard about it before. I was like, oh, it looks like a cool knife. And um, the pictures that I had seen, they showed the uh, lock bars or the, the clip side, excuse me. Um, so it was open like this, like that, sorry. I forgot the camera's on the other side. Um, so I couldn't see the button lock. And I was like, oh, I, I like the, you know, the blade design. It looks like a comfortable handle with the choil and this big indentation right here. Uh, I'm going to go look at it and see, you know, what the price is, stuff like that. Um, and then I saw it was in 14C28N and I was like, oh, that's a really good steal. Then I saw it was a button lock and I was like, okay, budget button lock, 14C28N, you know, what's the price here? And then I saw it was 59 bucks and I was like, oh, like I have to buy it. Um, and they had where if you bought one, you got like a 5% discount um, as like an early bird one or whatever you want to call it. So it went from like 59 to 54. And then I had like 25 bucks laying around on my PayPal I used for it. So all in all, I was out like 30 bucks for this knife out of my own personal money. Um, and I think it's well worth it. I think this thing is really well constructed. Uh, and I, I can't wait to toss thing, this thing in pocket and get some use out of it because um, it's just, it looks really good in my opinion. I love the blade shape, the drop point with the choil, the button lock, good micarta, you know, great blade steel. And it's already starting to loosen up a little bit, but I'm sure I'm going to sit here and fidget with this for the next, you know, the rest of the evening at least. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to wrap this up guys. Uh, this was my unboxing of the uh, Fosteed Raccoon. Potentially the new button budget lock king, maybe um, we'll see. But you know, right off the bat, I think it's going to be a very promising review, and uh, I'm glad I added it to, to the collection. So um, I will leave a link to this down below. According to the website, they are out of stock. Um, but if you're interested, definitely monitor it, monitor their Instagram. You know, see if they're going to post about you know when they're going to bring it back and stuff like that. But uh, as always. Blue Creek Knives will also be linked in the description down below. Um, don't forget to use code 814EDC for 10% off of your purchase at checkout. Helps you guys, helps me, helps Brian. It's a win-win-win. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.